Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching. With Extra Point, we showcase the key football games in the North Valley. We'll also look at last week's top star, and we'll strike up the band, a pep band out of a small North Valley high school. We start with football at Foothill. Foothill and last in one of the night's marquee games, Foothill red and black and with the ball. Black Burnett goes head first into the end zone, 13-3 Cougars. Lassen didn't have an answer on stopping Burnett, who takes this pass and runs and runs and runs, 66 yards, and you knew that Foothill was about to score again. Ah, not so fast. One more play, a slant pattern, almost gets it in. And then here we go, a quarterback rollout and a toss to Cooper Genesbeskis. The big six foot four wideout makes it 20 to three. Foothill rolls 41 to three over Lassen. All right, we travel to Orville where Las Plumas and Anderson's quarterbacks put on a duel. Las Plumas has the ball here. Quarterback Jess Little runs it from 20 yards out, putting the score seven nothing Thunderbirds. The Anderson Cubs on the attack. They're in white, the yellow jerseys, or the yellow pants, I should say. Number 28, Jeremiah Emershai takes it in from 35. Ties the game 7-7. Anderson back at it again with Jason Krushank tossing it to Scott Hearn for a 42-yard touchdown strike, putting the Cubs in front 14-7. Quarterback duel continues. Jess Little will take matters into his hands. Again, with his second rushing TD of the night, Las Plumas nodding things at 14-14. Great game. Jason Krushank has the same idea. He rushes it from six yards out, putting Anderson ahead 21-14 back and forth it went. Little passing it to Travis Ramage for a 65-yard scoring play. Anderson goes on to win a wild one, 41-34 over Las Plumas. Well, Enterprise has started the season with a so-so record, one win, one loss. They traveled to Central Valley tonight, and Bonnie Valino was there to see the action. Good evening, Bonnie. Thanks, Jerry. The heat was on tonight for both of these teams. They both need a win, and it's not just to better their record, but mostly to gain some momentum before league play begins. Let's go ahead and jump into the first half highlights. And it's about five minutes into the first quarter. We're going to go and we're going to see Enterprise Hornets. They are in the black and gold. They are in Central Valley's territory. And that sophomore wide receiver, Justin Abney, breaking for the first down after a nice pass by Zach Trueblood. And number 24, pretty impressive, Jace Oravez is in the end zone for the first points on the board. PAT is good, and the Hornets are up 7 nothing over the Falcons. And we're going to go just about three minutes left before halftime. Zach Trubud, right there, slings a pass. Again, too, awaiting Justin Abney, putting them in the red zone. And a few downs later, we will go. We're going to see a familiar face in this end zone again. On the next play, it is number... 2-4, Jace Oravez for the touchdown. He would have three touchdowns on the night, and they would go on to win 42-14 over Central Valley. And next week, Central Valley plays Chico, and Enterprise will host Red Bluff. Both of these games are their last ones before league play begins, so Jerry also has some good stuff. And what else do you have for us? Thank you, Bonnie. I'm about to tell you, we're going to have more action from the prep gridiron, including highlights from an eight-man football game and some old-fashioned grinded-out football, or at least was working wonders in Corning. We'll find out if that continued tonight. Stay tuned for more Extra Corners.